Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Are you stepping into the world of Java programming and wondering if you've made the right decision? Well, we've all been there. Since the initial phase is difficult, we end up making simple mistakes and mess up our codes in some of the silliest ways possible. But here's the thing, it does get better with time. The more you code, the better you get at writing error-free, clean codes. In today's video, we'll be talking about some of the most common beginner Java programmer mistakes. So to all the newbies out there, this one's for you. So keep watching to find out exactly what the avoidable mistakes are so that you can come up with excellent codes your next time around. As always, you can let us know if you find this topic interesting by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Also, let us know in the comments down below how long you've been coding in Java. Now let's jump into it. Mistake number one is brushing aside the basics. Again, we've all done this, until we learn that it's the basics that help us in the long run. As someone who has just started coding, you need to understand that the basics are the backbone of every programming language out there. Lack of conceptual clarity will only end up with you being more frustrated every time you write a code that doesn't run smoothly. Nailing the hows and whys of programming will help you know how it functions. And this will help you write neat codes with minimum to almost no errors. Mistake number two is piling up doubts. Skepticism is the best teacher. And this applies to coding as well. You can't be a programmer and not have doubts, questions, and queries. Piling up all of these will only end up confusing you more as you move ahead in your coding journey. Instead, get them clarified right then and there. Find yourself an experienced mentor or sign up on an online coding platform where you can get your questions sorted on a real-time basis. Once you have these doubts sorted, try them out for yourself. After you're sure about the clarity that you've achieved, then move on to learning something new. Sticking to one or two information resources would also be helpful, rather than referring to a hundred different resources out there. Mistake number three, only mugging up theoretical concepts. Actually implementing theoretical concepts is just as important as mugging them up. Just watching someone code or reading about it is not going to take you anywhere. It will take you far longer to churn out amazing codes at this pace. So instead of waiting and watching, actually start practicing coding. Whenever you learn a new concept from a book or video, try it out. See for yourself how it works and you'll be able to retain it in a far better way and for a longer time. Also, take it easy as you start implementing the codes and start with some simple tasks that would slowly and steadily build your confidence. Mistake number four is coding alone. Why code alone when you can code with a set of like-minded people? Trust me, it can be a lot more fun that way. And I know as a beginner, you may hesitate to head to, for example, coding events, but once you're there, you'll have a great time. After all, you'll be in the presence of fellow coders who are just as passionate about coding as you are. And these events are not only networking hotspots, but will also help you with your coding skills. Now, that sounds like a perfect win-win to me. Mistake number five, getting frustrated because of errors. Whether it's coding or any other new skill that you pick up, in the beginning, it's always difficult. In the initial phases, you may end up seeing the error message on the screen a countless amount of times, thanks to those little mistakes that you make. But does this mean that you get frustrated and give up? Not at all. In fact, you need to use every error message as an opportunity to learn. Knowing where you're going wrong and working on it, that's something a new coder should do so that they don't end up repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Mistake number six, not practicing coding enough. The more you practice, the better you get at coding. Unfortunately, many people who are new to coding don't understand the importance of practice, which is why they end up with messed up codes more often. Java isn't just another skill that you pick. It's a programming language used widely across the world to develop complex web applications. You have to contribute enough time and effort to Java as you would to any other academic discipline. If you don't practice enough, you'll only end up getting demotivated. So practice as consistently and dedicatedly as you can. And last but not least, mistake number seven is goalless learning. If you're learning Java for fun, that's fine. But if you're a serious, passionate coder, you need to take the programming language seriously. Setting weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly goals for yourself would help you inch closer to becoming an excellent software developer. The best thing you can do for yourself is to sign up for an online Java course. These courses are structured and focused on goal-based learning. 
And that's just what you want as a beginner. If by any chance you aren't able to sign up for a course, then you would have to plan your own learning journey and stick to all the goals along the way. Learning with specific goals will make sure that you don't end up with an information overload. The systematic approach to learning would help you steer clear from the excitement of learning everything at once. So yes, goals are important. So there we have it. Seven mistakes that every beginner at Java should avoid. From brushing aside the basics, piling up doubts, only mugging up theoretical concepts, coding alone, getting frustrated because of errors, not practicing coding enough, and goalless learning. Let us know in the comments, have you made any of these mistakes? We need to always keep in mind that learning is a gradual process and we need to have fun along the way too. Only then will we truly fall in love with coding. As someone who's new to coding, getting intimidated of professionals who turn out impeccable codes and even coding itself is completely normal. But it's how you find your way to the top that matters. So get started with polishing those coding skills. I'm sure you'll be able to write excellent error-free code very soon. Once again, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.